to New Life Church, everybody. Happy Easter. You guys look uh, really good. You guys look dressed up. I mean, my name is Neil. I'm glad you guys are here with us this weekend. Picked a great week to come to church. If you are a guest here with us, I just want you guys to relax. Uh, every single weekend, we have a lot of guests that come and, and check out New Life Church and, and see if this is a place where they, they want to call home. And I want you to know, we actually pride ourselves in never pointing anybody out. We're not going to make you do anything. We just want you to enjoy the presence of God and just to settle in and let God minister to you. We are thrilled that you are here. If you have kids, if you're a mom or dad and you just dropped your kids off over in Kid Life or Little Life, I just want you guys to know we're going to be teaching them the Word of God. They're going to be learning about Jesus. They're going to have some games. They will have candy. I'm just going to, spoiler alert on that, okay? They're going to, when you pick them up, it's going to be incredible. Just get ready for it. Uh, they are going to have a great time, and they're also, they're going to be worshiping God just the same way that we are. And if you have kids and they're in here with you in this service, it's totally fine. We actually have a lot of options for you if you do have kids. But I would ask this, if you have kids in here with you and let's say they get rowdy or they get really loud, do me a favor and take them out into the foyer. We have a great option for you out there because you can watch the service out there. You can get some coffee. You can still see everything. We just want to make sure that someone who is here, who needs to hear from the presence of God, that they don't have any distractions, that they have just a, a heart connection with Him. And we definitely want to ask God to do some incredible things in this service. And maybe it has been a while for you since you connected with God. Maybe it's been a rough week. Maybe, maybe it's been a rough year. But I want to say this. That the Bible actually very clearly says that when Jesus shows up time and time again, it changes everything. When Jesus shows up, things change. Situations change. And a moment with God, we believe, can change your life forever. And that is what we've been praying for you all week long. We've been praying that today would be that moment for you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray over our services. We do this every single weekend. We pray for another church right here in central Arkansas. And if you do the math on this, all across this state this weekend at Easter services, there are 5,900 services where people are lifting up the name of Jesus. And we're just going to pray that God does a miracle here in this state. And as we pray, we're going to ask God that this would be the Arkansas that he sees. All right, let's pray. God, we thank you so much for your presence in this place. We don't take you for granted. We know that when you move, that things can change, God. And we just ask in Jesus' name that anyone who's hurting, anyone who's far away from you, God, that you'd minister life to them, that you would be the hope that they are looking for. God, we lift up all the churches this weekend as they call on the name of Jesus, as they boldly declare that he's the hope and the answer and the truth that people have been looking for. God, I just pray that you would move in that place. Holy Spirit, we give you this room. We give you this service. We ask you to move in this place. And God, you are the guest of honor here today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right, so we are a relational church. Um, what that means is, man, we love life groups. We love getting together and hanging out with people. It means we're going to high-five at some point. Somebody's going to get, uh, they're going to get the rock or they're going to get high-fived. Do me a favor, get out of your seat. Say hello to somebody. Tell them hello. Tell them happy Easter. We'll be back with you in a second. darkness, formless, no beauty for sight. Nothing was waiting for something, someone. He hovered over the face of the waters and he said, let there be light. And there was light and it was good. Stars, sun, moon, and sky, he set them on their course, stretched out the heavens like a curtain. Yeah, it's showtime. 
He laid out the foundations of the earth and created towering mountains with a whisper of his voice. Gathering waters and calling them seas, sending them into valleys and streams, giving the beasts of the fields fresh water. Yes, my God provides. His thoughts are so infinitely considerate that from the crawling ant to the birds of the air, he gave them a home. And every morning they sing about it. But he didn't stop them. He saved the best for last. You see, he constructed man, fashioned him with the very palm of his hand, smiled, looked at him, and poof, now he's a living man. Gave him dominion, power, and something to do, and when he became lonely, God even gave him food. That's nothing my God can't do. They were intimately and intricately made to give God glory, but then man failed. Destined for eternal separation. Cut. That's a wrap. Fade to black. Right? Wrong. This is just the beginning. You see, he had a plan, and his will would be accomplished. He would do it with what he started with, his word, promise. Starting with Abraham, that he would always be with him and his entire family. And this was no little house on the prairie. They were as many as stars in heaven and sand on the seashore. No matter what, he would care for them. Over and over, he'd be there for them. For Moses, he was a burning bush and a highway for the children of Israel to cross the Red Sea. For David, he was a rock that made the giant fall to his knees. Boom! Even when he crips with darkness and God feeling too far to reach, he always found a way to bring them back and put them on their feet. Yes, he kept his word. From generation to generation, he kept his promise. A promise for telling of a light, the light, that would come and outshine the brightest star and swallow up the darkness. Promise of love, hope, and a future. Promise of a savior, our redeemer. Could we stand and worship together this morning? Oh, thank you for your love, oh God. Sing along. This is amazing. Grace. 
the darkness the light of the world the lamb has Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God. Church, let's sing together. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, and at the end, watching and waiting, looking up. i 
is my story This is my song Praising my Savior All the day I've said it once before, this story is far from being done. So in love with the world he made, that's why he gave his only son. So he came wrapped in flesh with a purpose to reunite us back to God and was passionately willing to lay down his life without a second thought. They beat, blamed, and abused him all because of his name. And yes, he died, but he rose with power, putting the haters to shame. He is God, and now his power is available to us. No more pillar of cloud and fire. It can now live, move, breathe in us. So I can't just sit still. I refuse to stay in my seat. I've got to give it up. Standing ovation to the king. Because he gave us all, we now have a chance to become followers and not just fans. Without him, we are nothing. 
nameless, and he is everything. He is famous. Now the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach his word. This is the day of days. Forget what else you've heard. So every tongue confess and everyone on bended knee to proclaim this is what I believe. 